Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Nice to see you again. So, it's Tuesday, and this is the class of tonight. So, it's class number 22, and the homework it should be the uh, 4.3. Also, remember that by uh, Thursday, we need to finish the platform, and that by Friday, we will be doing the uh, the uh, survey from in support so that will be it. this is the last week and then a little bit of a vacation so let's see how it goes we're going to check the attendance as usual so let's see how it goes Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez Gracias, teacher. good David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa Gracias, teacher. good Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez good Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present the Juan Miguel Brán Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present the chair. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Okay, so we're going to start with a little video as usual. Uh, we are going to check on that one and then provide opinions on the on the video, so let's see how it goes. Let's see. Okay. All right, here we go. Raising money for a startup, presented by wallstreetsurvivor.com. Here's Richard. Richard came up with a brilliant idea. He can compress videos at a much higher rate than any other company on the market. But you can't just sell an idea. You have to build a business around it which means Richard needs to hire employees, rent an office space, and start marketing his idea. All of this takes money, and usually the more money you have, the faster you can grow the company. Now Richard has a few options. Richard can bootstrap his business, meaning he doesn't take on outside money, but rather reinvests the company's profits to grow the business. There are a few advantages and disadvantages to bootstrapping. By not taking on investors, Richard can keep complete control of his company and doesn't have to share any of the profits in the event that he can sell. By the same token, because the company doesn't have a lot of extra money, they'll have to grow a little slower by hiring less workers, be more frugal on acquiring new customers, and maybe staying in the garage a little longer. Richard can also borrow money from the bank. A bank charges interest on the borrowed money. Let's say the bank charges 5% a month in interest and Richard needs $1 million to build his business. Every month, Richard needs to pay back $50,000 until the loan is paid back. What's more common these days to start a business is to take on investors, which usually come in two forms, angel investors and venture capitalists. But both invest in your company by giving you capital in exchange for a portion of your equity. How much an investor takes in equity depends on the valuation of your business. For example, Richard needs that $1 million to move forward. He and his investors agree that the business is worth $4 million pre-money, meaning not including the invested cash. In that case, the investors would take 25% of the company pre-money or 20% of the company post-money. An angel usually invests earlier in the process than a VC, when the business is nothing more than an idea. An angel can often be a friend, or family member, or someone in the community looking to invest in a great idea. A VC typically invests a little later, when the business has some traction, meaning revenue or customers, and a solid business model. 
To learn more about raising money for a startup, check out courses at wallstreetsurvivor.com. Okay, what did you get from the video? I, I, I can hear very well, teacher. I don't know what is happening. I'm trying to connect another, another phone, phone, another earphones. But uh, I think it's something like uh, what you get capital, what you get funds, you need to to start up to make you start. But it is possible. Please share the the link to see again the video. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the rest of the people, you were able to, to listen to the video very well? In my case, teacher, the video was working bad. Mm, that's weird. And can you hear me very well right now? I, 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 I think it's, it's my, my audio that is not working well. Okay. And I, I hear it so slow. Okay, uh, let's give it a uh, shot. I think it's my, 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 my audio. I'm trying to connect the other one. Okay, uh, I'm going to play the video once again since this is a very short one. It's, it's very interesting what it says. So let's give it a shot. Let me know when you're ready. So let's give it another shot. Okay. I think you can share it in, in the link to, to see it uh, after and continue with the class. Okay, that is fine, not a problem. Uh, so anybody else wants to comment about the video? That's what I wanted to play it again, but uh, if you have some ideas on what was that about. Nobody was able to to hear very well, I guess, okay? So yeah, it was interesting because it was saying how you can get some money for your idea, right? Maybe you have a very good idea, but I mean, what it says at the very beginning is that you need you need money, right? You need to do marketing, you need an office, you need employees, you need many things. So there are two ways, it says. There are two ways for you to get the money. The first one is bootstrapping, that is with your own money, investing your own things but the disadvantages is that you you have to to go very slow right the good thing is that you don't have to share anything on that on the other hand you have well you can always get a loan right from a bank at a rate that is probably five percent i mean that you have to pay every month an amount of money for example for a million dollars, approximately, you will be paying $50,000. So you need to go and run with your business, right? Or you can get investors. Uh, you can get two types of investors, the angel uh, investor or the venture. And they say that the angel are the ones that they invest in your idea when you have only that, only the idea, right? So, and the other one, the venture, is when you are running the business already and they see how successful they can be. And... Also, it says that depending on where is the investment, uh, most likely you are going to, you will be calculating for first of all, what is the value of the business? And then depending on the investment, you are going to calculate the percentage that you are going to give to every investor. Problem is that sometimes they also want to have control of the company. So there comes a problem sometimes because when you have a company, you have a little baby and you want that to, to be very good, right? I mean, to do, uh, you want to do things on your own way because, I mean, you have this idea and you want that to impact in certain ways. But the investors, sometimes they have a little bit of control of the company or sometimes a lot of control. 
And then they are the ones who decide. So that is not good. It's your company, your idea. Right? So there are advantages and disadvantages, and that's why we were checking into that. Okay, so let's move on with the presentation. Okay, so let's uh, start reading about how you can finance your company. Uh, let's see, David, could you please help me reading the first part? Okay, teacher. Financing is a process of providing funds for business activities, making uh, are you listening well to me? Yeah, I listen very well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, making purchase of investing financial institutions such as banks are in the business of providing capital to businesses, consumers, and investors to help them achieve their goals. The use of financing is vital in any economic system as it allows companies to purchase products out of their immediate reach. Put differently, financing is a way to leverage the time value of money to put future respective money flows to use them for projects started today. Financing also takes advantage of the fact that some individuals in an economy will have a surplus of money that they wish to put to work together in return, while others demand money to undertake investment also with the help of generating tools. Creating a market for money. Okay, what do you get from that? Okay, the financing process is to get the funds uh, for uh, what you need to do and uh, for get prepared for the business. You need to install some devices or some ma machinery, some uh, process of production or uh, hire some people specialists um, and uh, maybe uh, rent a, a local or something like that. And you need the money with the hope that uh, you uh, get earns. You get the incomes that uh, allow you to get earns and to pay the money you receive. Or if you are uh, uh, making associates uh, to give uh, some uh, earnings to the people that invest in your enterprise. Okay, so that is it, right? Financing is very important because, uh, yeah, as we discussed before, uh, yeah, you can have a very good idea and you can have a business plan and many things, but you need the money to start and to run down for a certain time. So that is financial, right? So you need... Uh, to do marketing, you need to get raw material, uh, do a lot of things. So, um, the most common problem, I guess, here in El Salvador is financial institutions, some banks, uh, and some other. Um, here, it's very, very difficult to get some investors. I mean, yeah, you can get them, but it's very difficult uh, because they want to take care of their money. And sometimes here in El Salvador, people sometimes, as we discussed also previously, uh, most likely people they don't know how to create a business plan or how to have a pro form uh, financial statements or uh, calculate any profit on the future things like that one so investors they don't like that so they don't invest and uh, uh, leverage that is a very very important word here so leverage is the way for you to get financing on your prior, right? And uh, time value of money also is a very important part. So, uh, because you pay for that one, I mean, the interest that you pay is that one, time value of money, okay? Good, good, perfect. So let's move on. Uh, Jose Wilfredo, could you please help me within this one? Sure, teacher. Uh, it says financing is a process of funding business activities, making purchases or investment. There are two types of financing, equity financing and debt financing. The main advantage of equity financing is that there is no obligation to replay the money acquired through it. Uh, equity financing 
places no additional financial burden of the company. So the dome site is quite large. The financing tends to be cheaper and comes with tax breaks. However, large devil bonds can be led can be led to default and risk. Wave average cost of capital WACC gives a clear picture of a firm total cost of finance. Well, in this paragraph, teacher, uh, they explain the type of finances, uh, as we can see, uh, we have a, a two types of finances, but uh, also we have a, a one of finance extra that is at the finance that comes with the tax breaks and uh, as we see the, the large debt board can lead a default in credit risk. So okay. I think so that very well. So yeah, this is a very clear, right? So uh, yes, it's important so for many things. And in general, we have two types of financing, the equity financing, the debt financing. Here in Salvador, I guess the, the one that we have is the debt financing, right? Uh, equity is not common here. So uh, it's more expensive, but uh, you don't have to, to have an obligation about that one. Uh, you have to pay with profits and things like that. So it's a kind of interesting thing. Something interesting here also is the weight average cost of capital, that is the WACC. Because that is like a, a report where you can see how much financing you have. I mean, sometimes there are companies that they show you in the financial statement that they have three buildings, that they have a lot of production and things like that one. But if the financing is too high and they're paying a high interest and a lot of money, yeah, probably that is something that we need to consider, right? So. It's uh, an important part. Good. Understanding financing. William Alexander. Not possible for William. Um, Dora Elizabeth. Understanding financing. There are two main types of financing able for compa companies. Debt financial and a quiet financial. Debt is a loan that must be paid for payback often with interest. Interest but is typically cheaper than raising capital because of tax deduction consideration. A quiet does not need to be paid back, but is relations our ship stake to the shareholder. Both debt and inquiry have their advantages and disadvantages. Very good. What did you get from that one? Uh, um, uh, let me see the uh, both forms. The financial uh, have uh, advantages in this for company. For for example, see about see if a uh, uh, financial is for 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 loans or bank have a uh, Interest, interest, and uh, the companies have pay pay the the, the loan, but the other form is a uh, when the shareholders holder invests your own money in the company. Uh, but when the Sherlock Holmes invests in 
in in the in the company they hope uh, they have a um I don't remember ganancias profit profit they, they have a, a profit in 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 a short time maybe it's a, a one year Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you. So, yes, this is like the introduction to what we're going to check later on, right? Main types are those, the debt financing and the equity financing. Uh, the debt, I mean, you know that one. This is the most common here in Salvador. You go to a bank, uh, they ask you what do you need the money for, where are your incomes coming from, and then they calculate. They tell you the rate and the uh, term that you are going to be paying on that one, and that's it, right? For the equity, it's like more like uh, have shares. I mean, you have some shares that you can sell, and people come to your company as owners as well. So you don't have to pay back the money, but they are going to take decisions on that one, and they are going to take uh, a percentage of the profit. So that is the difference. So, yeah, both. Depending on what you want to do, you have to decide which one is better. As I was telling you here in El Salvador, most likely it's going to be a debt, right? Uh, unless you have some friends and they want to invest in the same idea. But other than that, it's a little bit difficult to get some investors. Okay, I have a few questions here. Uh, what is, I was checking something, uh, relinquish, relinquish. What is that word? The word relinquishes. Relinquish, huh? <laughs> it sounds me like the sound of the horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Spanish, it's very related to, to that, that word, right? But actually, it's, it's not, definitely. <laughs> what is relinquish? I heard that word before, but let me know. Cease to keep or exactly. change. Um, yeah. It's like um, give, give, give something to other. Exactly. It's to give up on something, right? Yes, to yes. Uh, to abandon the idea of doing something. So that would be. So that's what it says, right? but relinquishes ownership stakes to the shareholders. So um, you are no longer the one who takes the decision, the other people also take decisions with you. So that is the disadvantage on this one. Or the main, because we're gonna check some other details here. Okay, let's speak a little bit more about equity financing. Um, Roxana. Okay, equity financing. Equity is the another word for ownership in a company. For example, the owner of a grocery store chain needs to grow operation instead of debt, the owner would like to sell a 10% stake in the company for 100 million valuing um, value the firm at 1 million. Companies like to sell equity because the investor bears all the risk. If the business fails, the investor gets nothing. Good. What do you get from this? Um, maybe a. Let me see. Maybe um, when you are uh, talking about. Uh, 
to that, uh, you need to create a balance between uh, what, how much money do you have, and um, how much do you need to invest in a specific um, Maybe no, no, in a specific product. Maybe in a specific uh, item. Uh, for example, um, when you need to uh, separate the cost, your um, invest to to uh, improve your your sell, your service, your product. Um, maybe is the the way to. Have the balance between all the needles that you have. Okay. Okay, so yes, this is very interesting because uh, it's something that probably we see in the movies, right? Something like that is going on. So, yes, you have a company and you need money. This is not only for startup companies. I mean, companies, they do that a lot nowadays. They launch the business into the stock market. And then it's exactly this. I mean, there are people investing in their company. And, and if the company goes well, yeah, you are going to get some money. If the company doesn't go well, you lose your money. So it's a risk. It's a risk that takes the investors, not uh, the owners of the company. And, and this is something that you can see nowadays. I mean, here... Um, in the past, I remember that I never saw anything like that here. But nowadays, uh, if you are uh, there navigating through the social media, you will find invest in Tesla company, invest in Coca-Cola, invest in... Mm. Uh, yes, I mean, sometimes it's a fraud, of course, because, I mean, uh, the people, I mean, people nowadays, they they, <laughs> they are very, very weak, so they try to find a way for for you to give them money. Uh, but sometimes it's a real one. I mean, you can pay. And, and when you see the name of the company, I mean, that's like cola. You say, oh, okay, that is a solid company and I can, I can get some profit out of that one. And that's what the companies do uh, right now. I mean, what they do is uh, they say, we're going to sell a part of the company, but they're going to have a lot of money. I mean, and incoming, right? So it's going to be a very good way. And if the company has some problems, you just say to the investor, sorry, I didn't know that this was going to happen, right? So that is the good thing about this. Good thing for the company, bad thing for the investors. So that's why we go back to the business plan and the statements, and you need to understand very well how is the company doing. So you decide, if you really want to invest in the company or you say, no, this is not a good idea, right? And another problem with this one is the stock market. I mean, if they go out to the stock market, many things can impact the company uh, in a good way and in a bad way. So that is kind of complicated. Good. Um, I don't see any question here. Okay. Perfect, let's continue with this same. Uh, Steve, is it possible for you to read? Yes, for sure. Um, at the same time, giving, giving up the quality is giving up the comfort. Quality investors want to have a say how the company is playing, especially in difficult times. They are all paid by the number of shares. So, in exchange for ownership, they also give their money to a company who receives some kind of contribution earned. Some investors are happy with ground if they form of the share price appreciation. They want to stay what they want the share price to go out. Other investors are looking for principal protection and income. Well, when you when you are uh, an investor, you 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 hope to receive uh, some money. Maybe uh, the end of the year, uh, the end of the year of time. Generally, it's uh, at the end of the of the year.
year when you receive uh, money or all another kind of benefit. Maybe you can have a special discount for someone. Very good. So uh, uh, it still seems that uh, that your microphone has a a problem with the connection. I don't know. It's, it's making a noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, do you hear me? I, I can hear you, but I can hear you. Or I can hear also like interference. So I don't know what's going on. Probably a cable there. Is, Maybe the cable. Is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like interference, like aliens wants to contact us and participate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very well. Thank you, Steve. So, Thank you. Yeah, actually, this is it. I mean, uh, as we discussed before, uh, this kind of uh, investment has that problem, right? That uh, that you you give control to the other people, so they vote. Uh, I, I I know that you have seen the, in the movie sometimes that the owner of the company sometimes is kicked out of the company. It's fire, right? So the owner, the one that brought the idea and built the whole thing, uh, sometimes the investors, the board of directors, they say, you know, it's time for you to go home and they take control of the company. So that can happen. And for example, that is what happened to Steve Jobs, right? So he got some investors, and at the end, the investor said, uh, no, you you have bad ideas, and the company is suffering because of that one. You you need to resign. Here is your money, and goodbye, right? So that is the problem with this one. So it's, it's kind of difficult, kind of difficult. Uh, let's see. Um, what is a claim? Does anybody know what is claim? Claim, teacher? Yeah. What is a claim? Claim something that someone demand or expect. Okay, so that is it, to demand something. So they say at the end, uh, from future earnings, you are going to give me this amount of money or this percentage, actually. So that, that will be it, right? Very good. Let's move on. Okay, advantages of equity financing. Uh, Giselle. Not possible, I think so. Um, Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Uh, advantage of equity finance, financing. How do you say that word? Financing. Financing, okay. Honor your business through investor has several advantages, including the following. The biggest advantage is that you do not have to pay back the money. If your business enters bankruptcy, bankruptcy, bankruptcy or bankruptcy, 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 bankruptcy. Okay, bankruptcy. Your investor or investors are not creditors. Creditors. They are part owners in your company, and because of that, their money is lost along with the, with your company. You don't know how to make monthly payments, so there is often more cash on hand for operating expenses. Investors understand that it's, it takes time to build a business. You will get the money you need without the pressure of having to see your product or business driven within a short amount of time. Good, so what do you get from this? Uh, I, I understood uh, when you maybe start a business, uh, you have maybe some uh, uh, partners, partners. You, you can start a, a business. Uh, all uh, the, the the amount of, of the money I, I I think is you have to pay you have to put this the, the same money with another investors all the same money 
you start a a, a business. But uh, if the, the company maybe uh, don't don't have the result that you expect, uh, you you don't have to pay back the money. All uh, all assume, assume the the loss, the loss of the company. Uh, in the same way, in, in the same way, when they they get a profit, uh, all the investors get uh, maybe in in the same a quantity of money uh, dividing the, the profit. Uh, you, you don't have to pay to make money payments. Uh, uh, we, you, you have the, 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 all the money operating, but maybe you have to wait for, uh, and maybe in the, in the first month, you, you won't get profit because it's a starting, it's, it's, it's normal, I, I think. Uh, that, that, that's it. Okay, very good purpose. So that is it, right? These are the three main advantages of equity finances. Of course, the biggest one is that you don't have to pay anything. I mean, a money back, you, it's not a loan, right? So, uh, I mean, if your company worth $4 million and they give you $4 million, that is fantastic, right? So you will be able to get all the money that you need so you can run the business. And sometimes actually you can go and say, I need more money, right? And they will give you more money, but then you have to give a higher percentage of, of the business. Also, you don't have to do any monthly payments. Everything is to operate. And then at the end of the month or uh, whenever you have some profit, you will divide that one and that's it, right? And uh, investors also, they understand that if you're starting the business, I mean, it's going to take some time for you to get some profit so they can get their part. So they understand that one and they are able to, to be patient, right? To, to have an estimated time for not to go and ask for, for money, right? For profit. Um, so those are definitely very good advantages in this one. Okay, disadvantages, of course, there are good and bad things. Anna Claudia. Okay. Disadvantages of equity financing. Um, let me just one moment. Your picture <laughs> on my screen is like <laughs> ah, yeah, you have to move. <laughs> okay. Similarly, there are a number of disadvantages that come with equity financing, including the following. How do you feel about having a new partner? When you raise equity financing, it involves giving up ownership of, of a portion of your company. The riskier the investment, the more of a stake the investors will want. Um, you might you may have to give up 50% or more of your company. And unless you later construct a deal to buy the investor stake, that partner will take 50% of your profits indefinitely. You will also have to consult with your investor before making decisions. Your company is no longer so lately. So lately. So lately huh? uh, so yours. And if the investor has more than 50% of your company, you have a boss to whom, to whom you have to ask. Hmm. Okay, what do you get on this? Uh, it, that is a huge disadvantage of equity financing because uh, I've seen, I know people who they start as entrepreneur business, they grew up, uh, but then when they needed the that in association with somebody else that uh, could be a friend or their own family, which is the, the worst, the, the, the worst, worst, yeah, worst thing you can do because, uh, legal battles are inside families and it's horrible and the issue is that at the end they lost the company all their personal investment of time not only money their ideas also because the other guys the other ones they are like uh, i don't remember how to say astutos um yeah clever or anything like that well, they're clever, like a wolf, right? 
And so what happened is that they also uh, registered the ideas of the owner of the business as their own ideas. And it is so frustrating because all the revenue, all the incomes, the profits that an idea could give in the future no longer belong to the owner, to the creator. And I've seen that it's very important to be clear and also to have legal keys from the very beginning to be back it up, back it up and to be sure that always you will be the boss, you are the principal, the, you are the CEO, and nobody else will come with a legal key or with a legal something to uh, steal your ideas and your company. And at the end, you will end poor than at the beginning. It's so frustrated. And I knew a lot of people, even though the history in history we find people that they suicide because of those situations happens. Wow. And and it's uh, very disappointed that most of the time uh, these um, legal battles are with your own family, your blood family, not legal family, the blood family. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to 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 talk with the stakeholder and then mm, clarify who will be the CEO, the owner of this company, who will be the developer of this and this idea. Okay. So yes, you are right. I mean, this is huge, right? I mean, uh, imagine that you have a very good idea, but the risk is very high. I mean, mm. they need a lot of percentage on either the profit and also the uh, the decision. So I believe that the, that is a, a huge disadvantage and you need to be very careful. But the problem is that sometimes the companies need more and more money. So they say they renegotiate, right? And they say, of course, I can give you more money, but then I need a higher percentage. And mm -hmm. if they together, maybe there are four or five or 10, if they together, they have more than 50%, then the company is not yours anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that is a problem. Yeah, and it's pretty sad, as you say, that you have an idea and you build a lot of things, and at the end they say goodbye. I mean, mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't need you anymore. We're they hired to... you. <laughs> yeah, so it's 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 not good, right? But that is a risk. I mean, uh, it's either this or or go to a bank, right, and pay a lot of money. Mm -hmm. so, that is, I mean, it's either or. Yeah, That's they true. fire you. The, the thing is that they fire you at the end because when you no longer, they think, and that happened with the new generation, with the youngest in the family, that sometimes the grandfather or the grandmother, uh, she or he built a company, the company of their life, and suddenly new generations come up. Of course, uh, there is a... There is uh, something that we need to take in consideration, education. And sometimes what happened is that the older one, the, the one who created the company, sometimes they don't invest in themselves and they don't grow with the technology, knowledge, new things to do. And what happened is the new generations come up with those implementations. At the end, they do money faster than the way that the, the older one could do. So, and that is frustrating because at the end, um, the youngest fire the, the the older. So yeah, that happens. And you are very right. I mean, not a good idea to make business with family uh, unless, <laughs> unless. I mean, you really trust your family and everything is written in paper, right? So mm -hmm. they're probably, probably, but anyways, yeah, there always are going to be some problems. So yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. That, that one, I mean, not to have to pay, of course, it's a big thing, but to to liberate your company that way also mm -hmm. is, is mm -hmm. not that good. Good, perfect. Uh, so let's check. Let's go to the debt financing. That is the other way, right? Uh, let's see. Wendy Patricia, is it possible for you to read? No. 
Not possible. Okay, Juan Miguel Brand. Debt financing. Most people are familiar with debt as a form of financing because they have care, loans, or mortgage. Debt is also a common form of financing for new businesses. Debt financing must be repaid, and lenders want to be a paid a rate of interest or rate of interest in exchange for the use of their money. Some lenders require collateral. For example, assume the owner of the grocery store also decides that they need a new truck and must take out a loan for 40 grand. The truck can serve as a collect collateral against the loan, loan, sorry, and the grocery store owner agrees to pay 8% of interest to the lender until the loan is paid off in five years. Debt is easier, sorry, debt is easier to obtain for small amounts of cash needed for specific assets, especially if the asset can be used as, a, as collateral. Again, as collateral, while debt must be paid back even in difficult times, the company retains ownership and control over business operation. Hey, what do you get from this? Um, it's about um, about. If I'm not mistaken, it's about uh, go to a bank, ask for money. They give you the money, yeah, uh, a loan, yeah, but uh, you can, obviously, yeah, you have to pay a, a rate of interest for the loan, and uh, you can give also, a, for example, an asset or something like this, like, a, um, I don't know if it's okay to say like an engagement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, in order to, to, to the financial institution is more secure or more safe that you will have to pay because you have one asset, uh, inside the investment yeah um uh, what else at the end it says something that is true um in our country that is easier to obtain for small amounts of cash needed for a specific assets yeah and for all for us it could be uh, used, yeah, uh, for a mortgage, yeah, for buy a car or something like this, yeah. But when we are talking about businesses, uh, the the I don't know if it's correct to say that the normal loan, yeah, is more expensive that. Uh, business loan, yeah. Uh, I know that here in our country, Bandesal uh, has many credit lines to every kind of entrepreneur, yeah, or business, yeah. If you are an entrepreneur that at least you have two years, you have a, a loan and the, uh, the interest is about, for example, 4%, yeah. But if you take the loan in a normal way, yeah, uh, depending of the financial institution, you could pay uh, from 7.5% to 16%. Sometimes, yeah. And 
it's hard to say that if you go to a man who who can lend you the money, yeah, uh, uh, whatever man, they can uh, ask to you uh, for a high, but very, very high uh, rate of interest. Yeah, we are talking about 20%. And obviously you, the, they, or the man could ask to you, uh, for about uh, an asset, yeah, like uh, like an insurance, yeah. Okay, if you don't pay me, eh, I will have your house, yeah, and you will have to get up the house, and I will be the owner, yeah. It, obviously, if you are eh, free of that debt, yeah, in some institutions, financial institutions, they take your car as an insurance or something like this, yeah, but uh, in in the words that we are talking about, uh, financing for debt is the most common. Yeah, is the most common. It's uh, really hard to say, but a normal person uh, obviously depends of a salary, yeah, from your normal work or job, uh, but if you want to to um, how to say this, I, I forgot the word. <laughs> if you want to uh, to invest, yeah. If you want to invest in a new business, uh, it's really hard to say, but it's difficult to have at least twenty runs, yeah. In order to okay, I have this money. I don't know what to do with this money, and okay, let's see what it takes. Yeah, it's really hard. Uh, if you want to 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 mount your business uh, or to take your business, uh, at least uh, <laughs> maybe from your uh, your initial your initials. Uh, maybe a 10% you have, yeah, and the other 95%, 90%, sorry, uh, you have to to ask for a financial institution, yeah, in order that they, they give you the money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so de definitely, this is the most common here in Salvador, I believe this is it. I mean, if you want to run a business or anything like that, this will be it, I mean. And yes, uh, sometimes you have to do some car loans if you don't need a lot of money or a mortgage. I mean, you have your house and then you can give the house as a collateral so you can get the, the money that you are looking to get. So, um, yeah, it's, it's difficult, but that is the only the only way for us here in Latin America, I guess not all in Salvador. Teacher, this word collateral is like... Uh insurance or an uh, engagement yeah yeah in this case yes i require mm -hmm. a collateral uh, it's, is uh, it's like it, it's, the, it's it's like uh, the same meaning yeah 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 it's like uh i'm going to give you the money but if you don't pay me i will take your house right or i will uh -huh. take uh -huh. anything that you do yeah okay okay so definitely so this is something that sometimes is necessary right if you really want to do that's why it's it's very risky to run a business, right? Because, yeah, you and you have to be, do you remember that we were saying that you need to be realistic? You need to to be sure, I mean, to to check everything, every detail, so everything is going to run properly. So it's not that easy, definitely. Good. Advantages. Of course, there are some advantages. Let's see. I, friends, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I, I, I just want to, to add that I know, I knew, I knew in the past, I knew people that uh, they have uh, a market store, yeah, but in, in the central market, yeah, uh, and they live every day uh, uh, asking for money for 
for the for that people that I was talking about. Okay, mm -hmm. you have a hundred bucks, but at the end of the day, you have to you have to give me uh, one hundred and twenty. Yeah, so they are they are uh, taking you daily the twenty percent. Yeah, in in most of the in, informal, I don't know it's the correct way to say, the informal businesses, they work like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty sad. It's because, I mean, the banks, they ask you where do you work, right? If you don't work, what do you have? If you don't have anything, I can't give you any money. Sorry. So... And other people, they that's it's because of the risk, right? Uh, because they can lose yeah. things, and they you have to pay more. That that is that is it, right? Uh, yeah, it's pretty sad, but that's the way it is. Uh, uh, sometimes we're lucky, right, to to be in different positions. Yes, yes, we we have to appreciate that situation. That is true. So yeah, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's hard, but there are people that they are totally worse uh, situation. Okay, thank you. And uh, the advantages of debt financing, this is going to be for Francisco Eduardo. Hello. Hello. Advantage of debt financing. There are several advantages to financing your business through debt. The lending institution has no control over how you run your company and it has no ownership. Once you pay back the loan, your relationship with the lender ends. That is especially important as your business becomes more valuable. The interest to pay of debt financing is tax deductible as a business expense, the monthly payment as well as the write-down on the payment is a no expense that can be accurately included in your forecasting models. Okay, what do you get from this? Um, I think uh, uh, financing uh, your your business with that uh, is practically the, the, the most common way to to, to go up a, a business. For example, the, the biggest company, uh, they don't uh, use their own, own money for grow up the, the, the business. Usually they, uh, uh, they uh, have debt for uh, for for uh, invest in online or, or business or uh, create a, a, a new site. Uh, 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 I think that the the the, the good part is uh, uh, the the when you uh, ends the pay the 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 debt. Practically, you don't uh, influence with the financing institution <laughs> because uh, uh, they use uh, your your money and and you have a uh, benefit with, uh, about that. I think it is uh, for me is very good uh, uh, a very good way to to go up a, a business venture. Okay. So yes, this is the most common, right? And yeah, there are good things. I mean, for example, um, when a bank gives you the money, you are the one who controls everything. They don't come and tell you, ah, oh, you don't have to do this. I mean, you are the one. Right? You, you just have to pay. And that is it. Okay. And uh, yeah, as you say, once you pay back mm -hmm. the loan. Hello. So once you pay back the loan, that is it. Goodbye, and you don't have to to think about that anymore. 
okay? And the interest you pay uh, also is deductible as a business. Well, that is in the US, not in, in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador. Only if it's a mortgage with the FSV, uh, yes, it's deductible, but other than that, it's not deductible, right? So here, it doesn't matter. So uh, the monthly payment as well uh, has the breakdown of the payment is a known expense that can be accurately included in the forecasting model. So since you know how much you have to pay, it's going to be easier for you to, to handle the thing. And you say, I have to project how much I have to sell this month so I can pay the loan and the production and the salaries and insurance, many other things. So that is something very good because you calculate exactly what you are looking to get. Good. Disadvantages. Teacher. Uh, hello. Hello. I have a question. Go ahead. Yes, tell me. Uh, the... Before, in, yes, in, yes, in, say how you run your or company. In mm -hmm. this case, the word run is, is correct, but in this case is a, uh, it's like administration. Exactly. It's to, to manage, to operate your company. Okay. And when, what, or how, how to do a difference when I read paragraph when you the, the, the words that's the same? Well, that depends what is next to it. If you say I run in the park, it's running. If I say I run my business, is this is this kind of. Ah, okay. Yeah, the, the context is very important. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, disadvantages of debt financing. Uh, Fernando Marvin. Okay. The advantage of then financing. That financing for your business does come with some downs, downsides. Adding a debt payment to your monthly expenses assumes that you will always have the capital inflow to meet all business expenses, including the debt payment. For small or early stage companies, that is often far from certain. A small business lending can be slowed substantially during a recession. In tower times for the economy, it's more difficult to receive debt financing unless you are overwhelmingly quali qualified. Okay, what did you get for this? Uh, but I understand that if you have a company and you get a loan, um, obviously you, you you have to pay. And you need to consider your monthly or, or expenses or in your budgeting, and uh, you you have to to pay the your debt. <laughs> Maybe sometimes it's it's difficult because. Or not that the the sales are not good or during recession, but you have to pay and sometimes you have to pay interest and not interest or yeah interest right you have to pay interest and um uh, um I don't know, I, I don't understand the the line. For a small or early stage companies, uh, yeah, this, this part I understand, but that if often far from certain. Ah, uh, yeah. What so, does mean? 
Yeah, the meaning is something like for small or early stage company like startups, uh, this is not true. So this is this also, is not this is not true. Oh, this is not true. This is more for okay. Oh, okay. So this is often so, far from certain, far, far from being true. It's, it's not true. That will be. Ah, okay. Okay, so, but I understand that. You need to pay your, your debt. And you, you have to assume in your monthly expenses and always, <clears throat> always uh, accomplish with, with the with the left payment. So that's it. Okay, very good, perfect. So that is so true. I mean, um, bad things about debt financing is that besides paying the building, the rent, the power, energy, machines, salaries, also you have to pay this one, right? So, and actually that's what it says. For startup companies, it's, it's very difficult. Also, uh, sometimes there are problems with the business. I mean, sometimes everybody's coming, but sometimes nobody comes, right? So uh, you, even if you don't sell anything, you have to continue paying. So that is that is a problem, right? So, but that's the way it is. I mean, so we cannot do more about that one because that's the only way for us to get the money that we need. Good. Special consideration about this. Let's see who hasn't read. Uh, Marcus. Okay. Uh, the weight average cost of capital, the WACC, is the average of the cost of all types of financing, each of which is weighed by its proportionate use in a given situation. By taking a weight average in this way, one can determine how much interest a company owes for each dollar it finances. Firms will decide the appropriate mix of debt and equity financing by optimizing the WACC of each type of capital while taking into account the risk of default or bankruptcy on one side and the amount of owners. Uh, are, uh, owners are willing to give up on the other because interest on the debt is typically tax deductible. And because the interest rate associated with debt is typically cheaper than the rate of return expect for equity. Debt is usually preferred, however, as more debt is accumulated, the credit risk associated with that debt also increased, and so equity must be added to the mix. Investors also often demand equity stake in order to capture future profitability and growth that debt instruments do not provide. Okay, what did you get from this? <laughs> Interesting. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, this concept, the weight average cost of capital, uh, is important uh, when uh, a company wants to like uh, ask for a, a loan, so they can determine uh, the interest. For each dollar that they will have to pay in the future, and also the investors, uh, um, it's like they uh, take care about their backs or they uh, have a backup because in case of a uh, The, the um, company don't want to pay or they go to bankrupt, uh, they can demand equity. 
Uh, so it's important this this concept. I don't get it too much, but I, I, that's why I, that's what I understood. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, there are certain things that we need to consider about that one. So the first part says the weighted average cost of capital, that is the WACC, is the average of the cost of all types of financing. So that's why this rate is very important. So if a company or, or in mind that investor or anybody says, I want to know what is your WACC, what they are asking for is, the average of the cost of all, all types of finance, all the money that people has given you so you can run the business. So that is a very important thing. So by taking a weighted average uh, this way, you can determine how much interest a company owes for each dollar it finances. So you can calculate that one. So you can know if this company is profitable or not. That's why this is very important. Firms will decide uh, the appropriate mix of debt and equity financing by optimizing the WACC of each type of capital while taking into account the risk. So this WACC, uh, the, the people, the investor, they calculate what will be the, uh, the picture of the company depending on how much uh, or how high is the average of this cost. And also, um, what is the uh, the risk, uh, depending on the situation, the company or the market or many other things, uh, to go in bankruptcy? Because that is something that can lead you to bankruptcy. This and no, and no liquidity definitely is, is a big problem for a company. So uh, that's why the investor, they are going to come and ask you this, what is the financing that you have or what do you expect from that one so it's going to be very good um interesting and that is tax deductible in the u.s of course and because the interest rates associated with debt is typically cheaper than the rate of return expected for equity that is usually preferred so yes people they prefer to go to a bank uh and i mean get a loan with a rate of interest and that's it it's it's better in general. However, as more debt is accumulated, the credit risk associated with that debt also increases, and so equity must be added to the mix. So that is the problem. So if the company has already a loan and you need more money, sometimes it's not possible to get a second loan or more money from the bank. The investors, they can give you that money that you want, but they demand the equity state. So they want to have control of the company and also the profit. So interesting how everything plays, right? So imagine that you are an, uh, the owner of a company and you have to decide. You have to decide, what do I do? Equity or debt financing? What do you think is better? What is your opinion on this? Anybody? Okay, you don't. It all depends because if you don't have the money, you obviously need to get what you can get. And if you need to get an equity, you need to do it in that way. But it, 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 you need to be careful because, uh, like, uh, happened with uh, CBOs that was uh, fired of her own company. They found the company, they get the investor, and the investor fired them, and they get out of the company. <laughs> In the meantime, he built Pixar and another company, and then they get back for the next company to the direction of fight. But uh, <laughs> It was a problem for, for, for him and for others that are investing that way. There are risks, but if you don't have the money, you know, you need to, to go into. And if, if you can't wait to the loan and get access to the loan, I think it is, is the best way. But if you don't get a, a earning fast, you can you can lose your, your your business. That is so true, definitely. So, uh, 
but at the end, David, which one do you believe is better? Imagine that you you have the company uh, that you expose that you are going to create. Which one would you prefer? Uh, I was thinking in, in that. And uh, 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 in this moment, I was uh, uh, working with a friend that uh, have the money and have the preparation. We are uh, writing a book. He's a cardiologist. He's a expert in that uh, field. And I can write. We will uh, work together. And obviously, I, I do the work. <laughs> and he put the name and put the money. And we can get the book and maybe publish it. And in that case, it's preferred to go in that way, 50-50 with an, an equity. But uh, it all depends on the situation you are uh, working on. Sometimes you need to be in in this uh, type of business and equity, and in other times you can uh, uh, get access to a, a loan. It, it all depends. Sometimes it's better one, sometimes it's better the other. Okay, very good, nice, perfect. Thank you. Anybody else wants to share an opinion? Which one do you prefer? Nobody. Okay. So this is, uh, since we were discussing about the WACC, this is the equation. So uh, this is the formula where you can see that E is the market value of the firm's equity. D is the market value of the firm's debt. Okay, so this is something that you take from... Uh, the statement right so you can actually go in and see what what is that one v is going to be the sum of the market value of the firm's equity plus the market value of the firm's debt and re is the cost of equity rd is the cost of debt and tc is the corporate tax rate so there you can calculate the wacc uh, the investors, they look at this and they decide, right? oh, this is a good thing, or oh, this depends. I mean, we have to analyze other things so we can invest into that one. So this is like the little math. Of course, we are not going to calculate, but I mean, it's an interesting thing that we can do that one, the same. I think that they need tables, tables to make decisions. Like if they uh, offer them uh, uh, what value, a given value, or under that given value is a, a good decision or a bad decision. I, I believe, I don't know, but I believe there needs to be some some kind of a guide, a table for values. Yeah, that is true. So. Uh, depending on the, the company, sometimes the analysis is going to be easier or more complex, right? So sometimes you need to build graphics and many other things so you can analyze this. Sometimes just with this number is going to be good enough. Okay, so this is an example of financing. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, who hasn't read that much? Giselle, are you able to read? Okay, not possible. Um, Roxana. Provide a company is expect to perform well. You can usually obtain debt, debt financing at a lower cost. For example, if you run a small business and need 40,000 of financing, you can either take out a 40,000 bank loan at a 10% interest rate, or you can sell a 25% stake, stake in your business to your neighborhood for 40,000. Uh, 
Suppose your business earn a uh, 20,000 profit during the next year. If you took the bank loan, you, your interest expense cause of self financing will be 4,000, leaving, leaving you with a uh, 17,000 uh, in profit. Conversely, correct conversely. Yeah, conversely. Okay, conversely. Have you have you used equity financing? You will have zero debt, and as a result, no interest expense. But will keep only uh, 70, 75 percent of your profit. The owner twenty five the other twenty five percent being owned by your neighbor. Therefore, your personal profit will only be uh, sixteen thousand or seventy five percent for for uh, twenty thousand. Okay, so uh, what do you think about this example? Uh, in this example, for me, the best uh, way is equity financing. But uh, it depends if you're gonna have uh, that resources, you maybe you you don't have another uh, option. Yeah, but in in this case, you you save uh, interest expense if you. If you work in a uh, equity financing, okay. So yeah, this is a very interesting thing because you can see in numbers uh, what's going on, right? So this is a uh, um uh, like a, a, a supposed uh, scenario, right? Where you have uh, a small company, a small business with forty thousand of financing. So you can either take the 40,000 from a bank at 10% interest rate, or you can sell a 25% stake in your business to your neighbor for 40,000. So those are the two options, right? Uh, in one, you have to pay every month and the other one, you have to give control. Suppose your business earns a 20,000 profit during the next year. If you took the bank loan, your interest expense, cost of debt financing will be $40,000, leaving you with $16,000 of profit. If you compare with the other one, I mean, uh, if you use equity financing, you will have zero debt. And as a result, no interest expense, but will keep only 75% of your profit. The other 25% being owned by your neighbor. Therefore, your personal profit will only be 15000 That is equals the 75% of the profit. So you can see that in money-wise is, is uh, similar. Probably what I see here is that the interest that we see here is not a, a complex one. It's like a simple interest rate. In real life, that doesn't happen. I believe that in this case, it's more expensive than the loan. Uh, but anyways, in the other one, you give control and you... I mean, you give the seventy-five, uh, the twenty-five percent of your business, but not only in one year, but forever, right? So that is the impact of this thing. So it's kind of complicated and complex. But this is a very good example, so you can compare. You can compare what could happen in one way or could happen in the other way. It is so difficult because in the in the loan you. Uh, the the dev was uh, will be diminished with the time, but in the case of equity, you need to give the, that amount of money or maybe more with the the advance of the time. Uh, I I remember that Mark Zuckerberg said that he invited ten ten partners, ten uh, college partners to Facebook. And of the 10 that he invited, only four accepted. And Mark Zuckerberg said, these four now are billionaires. These four that accepted 
are billionaires. <laughs> Obviously, Mark Zuckerberg has enough money, but uh, he, if, if he will do for himself, he will have uh, even more, more money. And uh, if he, he get along, he pay the bank, buy the bank. <laughs> It, uh, he, he, but now his his partner, uh, like him, billionaires in the project. So that is true. That is true. I mean, uh, this twenty five percent in this case, for example, is forever. Sometimes, depending on the situation, you can, uh, in the contract of the of the equity, you can put that you can buy that one. So, of course, if you want to buy that part and be again the only owner, uh, they are going to want more money, right? So, okay, but this company is, it worth this and I'm not going to have all the percentage. You, so I need, I don't know, $100,000 right now and you can keep the, the business, right? So that happens, it's complex. It's very difficult. Some people, they don't want to, to leave. Sometimes they go to trial. I mean, it's a big, it's a big problem, uh, depending on, of course, the people, the business, and how the contract was made. So, but it's something very interesting. So you can compare uh, in both situations. I mean, money-wise, at least for the first year, is very similar, right? But yes, the impact for the other one is going to be. I mean, probably the the loan is going to be more expensive. But also, on the other hand, you have to pay twenty-five percent of your profits every single year, so forever, right? So it's like getting married. Somebody said that we're engaged. So it's something like that. So the question is, is equity financial riskier than debt financing? Why would a company want equity financing? And Marvin is going to tell us that. Me teacher. Yeah, could you please read on that? Yes, sure. Uh, is equity financing riskier than debt? financing. Equity financing comes with a risk premium because if a company goes bankrupt, creditors are repaid in full before equity shareholders receive anything. Why will a company want equity financing? Raising capital through selling equity shares means that the company hands over some of its ownership to those investors. Equity financing is also typically more expensive than death. However, with equity, there is no death that needs to be repaid and the fair does not need to allocate cash to making regular interest payments. This can give new companies extra freedom to operate and expand. Okay, so what did you get from this? Uh, X is better have Equity, equity financing that, uh, that debt financing, because uh, is does need to allocate cash to make a regular interest payment. Okay, I, I understand. Equity is belong to shareholders, right? Mm -hmm. So they they finance in the company. So is the company have or if a company goes in Bangkok, so maybe they they assume the the loss, and or not the loss, but uh, the company have less um, interest to payment because the debt uh, belong to the shareholders, so it's a loss for them, but it's the risk, so to take equity. So yes, it's, it's very interesting, right? So um, you need to analyze many things for you to get some financing. So to, to decide which type is better, as David said, probably is going to depend on many things. Um, depends on the idea, the company, if the company is a brand new, if you are running already, or um, how much money are you looking to get? Sometimes that is also a very important part of this. So. It's interesting, all this thing. What will company want that financing? Jose Osmin.
Not possible. Let's check then. Um, Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Uh, why would a company want debt financing? Financing. Would debt either be a be a loan or a bond? The company has to make interest payments to cre creditors and ultimately return the balance of the loan. However, the company does not give up any ownership control to those lenders. Moreover, debt fin financing is often cheaper, a lower interest rate, since the creditors can claim the firm assets if it defaults. Interest payment of debt are also often tax deduct deductible. How do you say that word? Deductible. Deductible, okay, for the company. Okay, so what do you get from this? Uh, well, uh, the, maybe the main reason for for a company would uh, want to do financing is <laughs> is because it's tax deductible. It maybe it's a it's a big a big maybe reason for for one of that debt financing. And so uh, they, uh, it maybe the interest is cheaper than a, a loan, a, a, a traditional loan for, for saying in that way. And okay. um, huh? maybe it, I, I don't know, I don't know if I, I didn't understand, but. Uh, uh, they the the the, the debt financing uh, can claim your assets maybe that properties or something like that that is dangerous in my but you maybe take the control and you are paying your your quote or something like that <laughs> it's fine yeah that is true so um yes uh, this is a problem that's why sometimes it's cheaper to get that financing because i mean most likely if you don't pay they are going to come and, and take out uh furniture and many other things computers so that is a, a big problem right but anyways uh, depending on the situation as we said before this might be a very good idea very good so do you guys have any questions by now No question. Okay, we're gonna. I watch was describing. I was saying, you know, I'm we're gonna watch this video. Let's see if you are able to see. It. And this is very interesting here. So, yeah, mind the name of this one it says only moderns start a business on a loan. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Here we go. How do I describe you? I was saying, you know, entrepreneur, Dallas, Dallas Mavericks owner, Shark Tank star. You do it so, all, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, but entrepreneur, that, that works. You know, it, you and I were talking earlier today on one of the panels, and you made some really fascinating points about innovation right now in mm -hmm. this country um, and, and, and all that needs to be done to encourage it, to encourage small businesses. What do you think um, overall is the most important thing for, for new entrepreneurs right now? Just to go after it. I mean, the thing about being an entrepreneur is there's, it's just all to you. You know, a lot of people like to make excuses. I don't have connections. I don't have money. I don't have this. But, you know, if, if you find something that you like to do or love to do, be great at it and see if you can turn it into a business. And worst case, you're going to have fun doing what it is you love to do. And best case, you can turn it into a business. I, I'm just not big on excuses. I just think if you're really, you really, everybody has that opportunity to go for it. They just got to do it. Well, you know, a lot of people say it's hard to get a loan right now if you're a small business owner or you're starting to come up, you're trying to come up with an idea. How do you get the capital to, to start that business? Well, first of all, if you're starting a business and you take out a loan, you're a moron. <laughs> right, because you're, it, there's so many uncertainties involved with starting a business, uh -huh. yet the one certainty that you'll have to have is paying back your loan. And the bank doesn't care about your business or whoever you borrow from, unless it's family, doesn't care about your business. You know, and so it's just a, a complete conflict. So, to, so what, what, what should a small business uh, entrepreneur 
99 percent of small businesses you can start with next to no capital. It's more about effort. You know, small businesses don't fail for lack of capital. They fail for lack of brains. They fail for lack of effort. Most people just aren't willing to put in the time to work smart. I mean, they 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 go for it in a lot of cases, but they just don't recognize how much work's involved. And 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 if you do the preparation, if you know, if you start a business, you better know your your industry and your company better than anyone in the whole wide world because you're competing. And to think that whoever it is you're competing with is just going to let you come in and take their business, obviously that's naive. And I think most people don't recognize that. If you're going to compete with me and one of my businesses, you better realize that I'm working 24 hours a day to kick your ass. You know, a lot of companies right now are holding on to their money, they're holding on to cash, maybe they're doing some uh, share buybacks, right. uh, but in general they're not putting their capital to work right now. How and when does that start to change? I mean it's a reflection of a lot of different things. If if they're buying back shares, it means they don't see anything in their own businesses that they can invest in. And if they don't see anything in their own businesses that they can invest in, then it doesn't matter if they're bringing back capital from elsewhere. And it doesn't matter that they can talk all they want about jobs, but there's no good reason, you know, th th to hire people because they don't have places to put capital to work. And I think that's also a reflection of the focus on Wall Street, you know, most of the times when we talk about putting capital to use, we talk about public companies. You don't really see this as an issue in private companies. Um, but with public companies, they, they get such a concern with shareholder value and shareholder returns that they lose sight of, of trying to move the ball and to innovate and to invest in R&D. And I think that's hurt our economy, and I think that hurts the, the company in the long term. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean for growth? Do you think we're going to be in this 2.5%, 2% environment for a while? Yeah, and, but I'm not, I don't look at that and say, see, there's something wrong. We're not doing something right. I look at that and say, that's the new normal. That, mm -hmm. you know, when companies have their backs against the wall, particularly small to medium, where there's a big um, part of the growth for jobs, mm -hmm. we, we find new ways to innovate. We're, we're innovators in this country. We don't just sit back and say the only way we can solve problems is by hiring people. Mm -hmm. We go out there and you hire smarter kids. You hire smarter people to write software, to put things in the cloud, to, to um, find new solutions. And so we're, we're turning into an economy that is bifurcated. There's those people who write and control and define the software, and then there's those people who work for the software. Well, you're someone who's gone out and started a lot of businesses, including your own network. CBS has just uh, purchased a minority sure. stake in your network. What, what do you think, what is their intention uh, to do with that? Do you think there's a chance they might buy out the whole thing? Who knows? Um, but I think they're recognizing that, you know, the reason we took a network, HDNet, which was the first all high definition TV network, grew it. Um, and then two years ago, I recognized that being HD obviously is not enough. And so I said, out there in the media landscape, what opportunities are there? What, what creates a unique scenario that would be good for a network? And if you look at what's happening with social media, in particular real-time social media, it's very obvious, and you guys know it as well as anybody, real-time social media drives real-time viewing on TV, and live events on TV drive social media. It's a very symbiotic relationship. And so with Access TV, we had been doing live events as HDNet, and we just amplified that. So in, we, you know, from concerts all over the globe, to live interview shows, to live, you know, fights, whatever type of event that we can do live, we live want to do. Live is it. what people will tune in for. Live is what mm -hmm. differentiates um, television from the internet. You know, the internet was designed for everything but video, and television is designed specifically for, to deliver video, and, and that's a huge difference. And how does the internet? T I mean, when you think about content now being so much on demand, live obviously different because you have to tune in specifically for an event. Right, but you know when. Gangnam Style video. Right. A billion people watch it. You couldn't find any two people who watched it and talked about it at the same time. It's just completely different. By the time you watch it on YouTube, you've already missed it. You know, you've missed the conversation. YouTube's not about conversation. On Demand's not about conversation. It's about catching up. It's about killing time and, and vegetating, watching a show all day long. Whereas watching this live, hopefully there's people online talking about, our oh, Cuban's an idiot, or Cuban's smart, or whatever. <laughs> Trish knows her stuff, or, you know, whatever it may be. But that's a, that's, you know, a holistic conversation that happens in real time that drives, that creates a unique experience. Okay, what do you get from this one? Well, Trip, as he said, everyone can do it, just we need to have a projection. And also, we need to think smart. I believe that all businesses start as a little one. And then we need to be, we need to have that projection. 
to uh, grow as the big company. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you for your feedback. Anybody else wants to share anything else? This guy have a, a high level of expertise because he is founder of several companies in the USA. Obviously, he can take money from everyone to do something more else. And for that reason, they, they can finance the, himself. He don't need a loan, but uh, it's like we are talking uh, sometimes in the past uh, about the uh, demand. Demand needs to build uh, uh, some buildings, and, and they found a company that builds. And they need to, uh, they, they found companies and finance in, 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 in themselves, all of the family, and for he has the power. <laughs> If we don't have the power, obviously, the 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 best option or the best route is to get a loan. In I don't know here in Salvador, you can get the the taxes free for paying the interest, but in the USA they say that you can get the, some taxes. By paying interest to the bank, and uh, it is important. We we need the money, and uh, that give out give us the people who who try to do the enterprise more more. Uh, I think more a uh, question because they need to do something serious to the bank to present something serious to the bank that get get the loan. And uh, I think we can avoid that. That unless we have a, an uncle that uh, have money, <laughs> uh, yeah, we can avoid them. Yeah, he, yeah, you're right. Here in South, in Latin America, actually, uh, yeah, it's not possible. So one way or another, you have to go. Uh, it's very interesting what he says. Also, I mean, you can start later, right? little you don't have to go and jump into a big thing um and uh, you need effort i really like that he said that the business to run a business to be successful in a business is that and that if you have a business and you are not going to work hard you're not going to make it because you are going to compete with other companies and if you compete with me he said you have to be sure that I'm going to work 24 hours so I can kick your ass. I mean, it's a competition. It's a battle, right? And you have to, you have to, to do what you have to do. I mean, yeah, effort is, is important. Money is important as well. But if you do things very well, at the end, it should be. I mean, this is, and this is for, for any company. I mean, for example, I, so I really like music. I uh, I'm into music a lot, and uh, every documentary that I see from a band that has been successful, they play every day, four hours a day until they play perfect, and they go and look for uh, people to listen to them. I mean, but when they listen to them, since they play perfect with a very good sound, they hire them. So. That happens in a business. So if you do what you have to do, and if you work hard and you focus and create a good plan and uh, the idea is running very well and every department is going well, you're going to make it. That is that is for sure. Of course, in Latin America, it's more difficult than in other markets, right? In the U.S., well, that's why a lot of people, they want to go there, even when they're killing people on the street. There is uh, is the country of the opportunities, right? You go and you run a business, and if you work hard, you're gonna have a lot of money. Here, sometimes you work very hard, and you have just enough money, not a lot of money, enough. 
right? So that is the big difference. Very good. Um, any other comment about the video or anything that we have checked? Okay, for Friday, my friends, we have the homework of the words, right? Uh, two, three words that you are going to share. These are going to be the last, uh, the last time. So uh, check what you're gonna bring, and you are going to present any topic that you want to present. Not present to create a presentation to speak about something. So whatsoever you want to speak, since this is our last Friday. You can come and speak about that one. I would like you to speak around four or five minutes about any topic, okay? Uh, think about what you want to speak. You can speak about anything. You can share a presentation. You can share pictures of anything. Free speech, that is the name of this activity, okay? Questions about the activity? Oh, no question. Very good, perfect. So we have a few minutes, so we're gonna do a practice. Uh, let's see, who hasn't practiced with me that much? Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Uh, yes. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Very good. And uh, it's been raining a little bit there where you live. No, uh, so far, no, maybe you can feel the, the, the environment, maybe in a few hours, will rain here. Mm, okay. Do you prefer uh, rainy days or hot days? I didn't hear you because my dog is barking. Ah, you... yeah, he wants to participate in English, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I was asking you, do you prefer rainy or cold days or uh, hot weather? I prefer uh, uh, cold days instead of rainy days because uh, I prefer cold days because uh, for me it's better maybe sleep with a cool environment and you maybe cover with your your all the clothes of or or months that you want instead of uh, raining. I, I, I don't like the raining because uh, it's difficult to the transportation. Maybe I can I can walk my walk my with my dog like every day so I, I I walk the dog every day. So when it is, it is raining it's difficult for me doing this doing doing this activity with my dog. I prefer only cold days when it's cold. It for me is is better. Mm, okay, interesting. So, and uh, what kind of dog do you have? It's a it's a mix. I don't know how to say aguacatero, but okay. it's it is like a maybe a, a mix of a pit bull with another dog that I don't know what kind of dog was. <laughs> All right, and what's the name of your dog? Uh, the name is Zeus. Ah, uh, Zeus. Very good. Yes. Uh, by any chance, do you know why they, the people, they call some dogs aguacatero? Uh, to be honest, I don't know exactly what is the, the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody you know? knows that? Anybody knows anything about that? What is the reason people call dogs? How? Aguacateros. Oh, what wow, it is a good question. <laughs> I don't know, maybe uh, to some dog, they like to eat some avocados. That is the reason, actually, yeah. I mean, there were streets, uh, there were dogs in the street, nobody's owners, I mean, on the street. And sometimes they were hungry and no food, they, they used to eat avocados or <laughs> That's why they call it aguacatero. <laughs> because they eat whatever yeah, they're from the street. I, I, I know the reason for what uh, people say fidulais. Okay. Fidulais because 
was when the, in the, the past decade when we, you can go to USA without many papers, you can go with your pet for the, the, the border, but the demand of the immigration officer was the dog needs to be free of lies, free of lies. Free of lies, free of lies, and that they become in fear of lies. <laughs> fear of lies. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Funny reason, but well. Yeah, it's very we interesting. Know. Uh -huh. So and how many? Uh -huh. Sometimes I wonder to myself, you know, I, I'm I'm working very hard, and then an idea comes to me, like, why, why this mm -hmm. is happening? And I start looking for 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 that one. So it's, it's interesting when you find the reasons. Sometimes it's a very basic reason, but sometimes it's very interesting. Is I mean, it, but all the dogs came from from Spain and from another part of Europe. And all the dog was uh, not aguacatero, so it was uh, uh, with a specific uh, uh, gender, or I don't know how to say race. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the, in the process, some of them was, uh, was in the street and they start to uh, combine. And for the reason was changing the, and we can find uh, dogs, very, very uh, beautiful dogs uh, in the street. There are a mix of uh, many races and uh, there are good dogs. Yeah, it's, it's true. I mean, sometimes I, I'm on the street and I say, oh, that is a beautiful dog, right? So that happens, that <laughs> happens. Very strong and the, and the hair is very nice and it's because of the race, right? <laughs> Yeah, and there are many, many things. I mean, sometimes, imagine, imagine the people that they came from Europe and they saw the horses for the first time, right? Because horses are from here, from America. Uh, imagine the impact, the shocking that they come and they are, I don't know, walking around and they saw all these beautiful animals running free and they were like, oh, what is that animal? I, I mean... That 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 is interesting. I mean, how we have moved on, we have advanced in many things. Right now, we know a lot of things about science, the space, uh, but there are still things that we are getting to know. Right, and we are. Oh, what is that? How is that possible? So, it's a very interesting thing. Good. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fernando Ernesto. Very good. So, my friends, remember to finish the platform uh, this Thursday. is the last day. Okay. So, uh, let's move on on that one. If you still have pending something from the previous units, this is the time to move on because at midnight on Friday, is it won't be available anymore. So, very important. Remember also that uh, on Friday, we will be filling the survey, the INSA for survey together online. And also remember the homeworks that we have for Friday. That is our last day of this March. Good. Any questions before we finish? Teacher, can you share the, the presentation that I think that is important information and the video that you share at the beginning is that have important information too, you can share in the, the WhatsApp group, maybe. Okay, definitely, I will do that. Okay, thank you. Pleasure. Okay, so my friends, it's time to check the attendance and then go to bed for a little while. Let's see, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterosa. Present teacher. Good. Zora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present, teacher. <coughs> Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Good. 
Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Hello, Juan Miguel. Do you have questions or anything like that? 